This is my Japanese maple. It's been severely neglected over the years. I'm not sure what subspecies it is, but it's Acer palmerton um, ginky echo or something like that. Um, it's a very small leaf variety, absolutely magnificent. Well, when it's in fine form anyway. Now, I'm going to be taking its pot size down. Now, you can see the pot size there. Probably going to be taking it down to the one on the left, but I may choose to go smaller. What I'm going to do first off is I'm actually going to reduce the size of the tree itself. It's just too big. Now, I'm hoping you can see it clearly. The uh, wall behind it's fairly bright, so I'll come in a little bit closer. But if we look at the top part of the tree, I'm going to try and get in there. I'm going to be taking it down to about this area here. Hopefully that makes it a little bit clearer. So you can see, if we look at the stem, we've got the thickness of the main trunk. Forks off and obviously it tapers down. So as it goes up, we've got to reduce the height of this thing. So if I step back... And effectively, if I put my finger in, I'm going to try and show you where... I'm going to try and take it down to around there. So, and I'll be tapering these branches down. You see that one there? I'll be tapering it down. This, I'll be taking down to, a bit, you know, finishing it off about there. So we're going to be reduce the entire height, the whole tree. So you can see if I step back, it'll be in perspective. At the moment, it's fine. It looks okay. But I just think by just honing down, it'll really you know, make such a huge difference for it. Okay, stage one of the cut. You can probably see the peg sitting there. So I've marked it out to try and get the, uh, the tree in balance and taper the branches down. Now, on the left fork towards the upper half, it's still a bit thick there. And I, I would really like to be able to reduce that. But... I'll do this as a stage one cut. Now, um, what I remove from this tree, I, I'll plant as cuttings. I, I'm not sure how it's going to go because it's, because it's a grafted variety. Um, they'll grow. I don't know how they're going to go in our climate. They're generally grafted for a reason because uh, the, the grafted stock they're put on is either more vigorous, more disease resistant. Um, you know, certainly a hardier type of uh, uh, plant. So we'll see how they go, but anyway, I'll do that. Uh, I can't hold the camera and cut at the same time, so I'm going to do the cut. Um, I'll get it back on film and we'll see how it's balanced up and we may do a uh, further cut from there. Okay, so that's stage one cut done. Now, you can see the centre of the tree, all the pegs are gone and I've cut that down to there. So I'm going to sort of zoom into that and, and try and point with my hand if I can. Um, hopefully the light will get a bit better for you. But you can see through here, there, and there's the tip of another one, and there's the tip of another one. So that's where the pegs were. So, you know, we've got the crowning towards the centre. Now over here, you can see the pegs. I haven't removed that. And this is the part that worries me because, you know, that's a very thick stem there. And I want to reduce it down. But if I just change angle, you know, to reduce down so that that becomes the leader, I mean, that's a pretty thick branch. Oh, there's my wife in the background. She's stretched out on a uh, couch. Can you see her resting there? Anyway, so you can see the thickness of that coming through to there. And that will become the main leader. That's a pretty big jump. Now, it can be done. Now, the other thing to consider is that uh, when you've got a branch like this, I mean, if I was to take that off down to this, and this become the new leader, and I would bend that out, which I'll be very gentle with, that in itself would make a fantastic bonsai. Now, I can actually, if I wanted to, create an air layering. So basically, cincture it there, that's where I'd cut it, but I would put a cut in there, put some soil around that with some peat moss, glad wrap, and leave it for probably 8 to 12 weeks or so. That would form its own root system, and then I would cut it there. Now I'd actually do the cincture above it so I could cut underneath it, but that means that it would form its own root system before I took it off. So as a cutting, it would uh, definitely take, and it would take quicker. Um, I am not prepared to wait, so I'm just going to go ahead with the cut. So I think I'm going to get pretty bold and make that cut. So basically in here, this is all going to be removed now. 
to do that, that's fine, but then we've got this branch over here. Well, it's too thick in comparison to the height of that. So I'm going to reduce that one down to that height as well. And then on the right hand side, you'll see there's all this conglomeration right here of branching. Now I'm going to trim that down probably, ooh, where are we? It's a bit hard for you to see in there, isn't it? Um, can you see that nice cluster of branches there? Well, if I move up there and you can see that tapering down, that will make a beautiful taper. So I'm going to get pretty radical now. Moving in here, you can see where I've made that cut. Now it's quite obvious, but you've only just seen that now. You're looking from the front, on those three, one, two, three, you cannot see the cut at all. Because I've intentionally cut it behind a forward facing branch, so you don't see the wound. And that's really the way you need to be able to do it as much as you possibly can. Okay, so I'm going to stand back and give you the overview again because I'm about to go to work and we'll just stand right back here and okay, so that's the overview and next shot you're going to see it's going to be radically cut down. Okay, that's it, we're done. We've done the hard cut. Now, I'm going to be able to move in closer here. Uh, as you can see on this side here, we've got a fairly radical drop down there, but that's okay. Um, but you can see that branch there is in the center, if I just stand back. So you can see you've got the, the triangulation and through to the other side. So we're going to leave it like that for today and we'll just see how that uh, shapes up. Now I'm not going to wire those uh, new leaders up into place at this stage. I'm going to let that uh, wound start uh, callousing over. We've got some fairly large wounds so I'm going to use some sealer on those. I'll just uh, zoom in. You can see that uh, fairly large one there. Uh, and I'll just zoom around so you can see them from the back. So you can see there we've got some fairly large wounds. So we'll seal those up. Um, I'm going to go ahead because we're uh, we're in autumn now, early winter. So I'm actually going to go ahead and reduce the uh, the soil mass and uh, move it into that uh, smaller pot. Um, and we'll uh, just sit on that uh, through winter until spring, and then we'll wire it up and uh, get back to some good work on it.